Hi guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Uh, today I'm in the workshop and as you can see it's absolute tip. I had to get my car in to replace my exhaust pipe. This exhaust pipe, absolutely terrible. Uh, there's a big hole rusted in there, the back part had rusted away and snapped off and yeah, I had to replace that. So everything got dumped on my workbenches to get my car in. I've been under the car for about two hours to try and get this exhaust done. My hands were an absolute stain. Just, it's, it's not fun. This video is just going to be a year in recap. So while I'm tidying all this stuff, you can watch all my favourite videos for the year, all the best videos that I've done, and I hope you enjoy them. I'll do a little bit of a voiceover for each video and just talk about why I enjoyed it and hopefully you enjoyed them too. Uh, your favourite videos, just let me know down below what your favourite video of this year was from me and hopefully next year we can make some great videos as well. Anything you do want to see, again just let me know down below. So enjoy my year in review guys. Okay, so number five is my review of the Titan Electric Tainsaw. Uh, the reason I've chose this video is it be because it's my most viewed video this year. Uh, I've had over 4,000 views on this video and it's just unbelievable. The reason I think it's done so well is because there's not many people doing a review of this chainsaw and Screwfix actually put this on offer a couple of months after I put this video out and it was pretty good. The other reason I like this video is because I actually got to play with a chainsaw for the first time and cutting down trees with this thing is just a whole lot of fun. If you want to check out this video I'll stick a link in the description below. At number four is my controller stand video and um, this was one of my most popular items this Christmas. I made over 50 of these these are handmade, hand cut on the scroll saw and then hand painted with a decal that is printed off, um, well I'll say printed off, it's a vinyl sticker that my sister makes for me and obviously I pay her for those. But uh, the re that's the reason I chose this video as number four because this was my most popular item at Christmas and they're such a joy to make, they're really enjoyable and if you, again, if you want to see this video, I will put a link to that one in the description below. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really like this project and I'm hoping I will do a lot more of them in the future. So, at number three, we have my first laser project. Uh, this was one of my favourite laser projects. It was the first mandala project that I made and the first way of filming in this style uh, it really took off, everybody really liked it, they really liked the style of recording and I really enjoyed this project, obviously I'm a cat person myself so this, this really helped with me, this rung true with me as well, so that was my reason for picking this one. If you liked this video then hop over to there, go and watch the full thing and yeah just enjoy it, it's really relaxing to watch. At number two we have the laser engraving onto throwing knives video. This was unbelievable for me, I, I didn't think I'd ever have an opportunity to do something like this. This was sent to me uh, from a customer and they wanted me to engrave um, the writing on there and images just as a gift for somebody's birthday because they, the, the person really liked throwing stars. and. It was it was a challenge because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I didn't know how well it had engraved onto the anodized material. This was anodized stainless steel. I had no idea. I was unable to do any testing beforehand. I didn't know how I was going to get the sizing right and line it up with my laser because I didn't have a laser pointer marker. But I came up with an idea and. It worked and it worked really well it was really satisfying to watch and they turned out much much better than I thought they would do the customer was absolutely thrilled with the design and honestly go over there check it out see how I made these and how I lined it all up properly and you'll see how I had to mess about and how I got it done and uh, I hope you're impressed as I am with the final result because it turned out absolutely amazing. 
And at number one, how could I not put this at number one? This was the amazing fun paint day that I had with the children. Uh, we went over to my sister's house. We set up some dust sheets. We just strapped them to a garage. And uh, we just got some paint in some water guns, filled up some water balloons with paint. And we just had an absolute blast all day. We were there for around eight hours just making a mess and having loads of fun. The kids had loads of fun. I had loads of fun. And we just stuck an epic soundtrack on there. And it was just absolutely amazing day if you've not seen that video just go and check it out we modified a nerf gun uh, we put a pin in the end of it so we could shoot the um the water balloons above the head we did a challenge they picked a water balloon one of them had paint and water in it and the other one just had water and obviously these are just young kids so we weren't going to do anything really disgusting but it absolutely blast of a day i had so much fun the kids had so much fun and just really 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 enjoyed doing this video i can't wait to do something similar obviously the editing and the recording wasn't great because it was one of the first videos i ever made on this channel but it still turned out brilliant head over to there check it out and just see how much fun we all had Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the catch up, uh, I really enjoyed a lot of those videos, there's a lot more that I do enjoy, I'll enjoy every single video that I make to be fair, uh, it's just good fun to make and show you guys what I'm up to. As you can see, my workshop is a lot cleaner and tidier, it's not perfect, I've still got my dumping ground over there that I need to sort out, but we're going to go to the tip. So. This will be my last video for the year. I hope you all had a brilliant year. I know it's been really tough. Hope everybody stays safe and 2021 should hopefully be a better year. So I'm currently sitting at 437, 38 subscribers. So I need 62 subscribers to get me to the 500 mark. I'd love to hit that by new year and celebrate with you guys. And speaking of celebrating, if you want to celebrate with me, uh, I'll put a link down below where you can buy me a beer, basically. Uh, it's kind of like a Patreon. Uh, the coffee is called Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, the website is called Buy Me A Coffee. But I don't drink coffee, so I changed it to a beer. So if you watch any of my videos and you think, well, this guy deserves a beer, just click on that link, buy me a beer, and celebrate with me. If you don't want to do that, then there is also a subscription plan on there, which is even more like Patreon, where you can subscribe. I've set that to £3 a month at the moment, because I don't really know what I can do extra for you guys. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for what I can put on there, stick them down below. And thank you for your support. It's been absolutely amazing this year. I will see you guys in 2021. Thank you very much.